is going on you guys it is your man morgan man thank you so much for tuning back in to the morgan man sports podcast you can find me here on soundcloud.com spotify google podcast youtube and iHeartRadio. guys i sure hope you are having an amazing friday morning on this special episode of falcons friday where i am discussing the 2020 falcons draft class and also discussing some recent headlines about tech mckinley so without any further delay let's go and get straight into today's action all right guys so to start off here at the top of the show right here we are talking about the 2020 falcons draft class so coming in at round number one pick 16 you have cornerback from clemson university aj trail now aj trail is one of those guys that a lot of people frowned upon during this you know draft and they were really kind of upset with his performance at the LSU game in the national championship game. And honestly, I mean, you can't judge the dude off of that one game. And anyways, he's 29 and one as a starter from Clemson. So that's pretty dang good. And honestly, he went up against the best team back two years ago. And that was against the Alabama Crimson Tide and totally just dominated that game. And also, as a matter of fact, for this past year right here, A.J. Terrell intercepted Joe Burrow during the national title game. So, I mean, really, you're just going to judge him off of after that, what, that one pick six right there? You're going to judge him based off, off the rest of the game? Pump the brakes on that right now because... AJ Terrell is one of these special corners that is still learning. Even though he was really undefeated minus that one loss, AJ Terrell is still learning. He's getting better by the second, and I believe he's going to be a phenomenal corner for the Atlanta Falcons this year and many more years to come. Next up in round two, pick 47, we have defensive tackle from Auburn University, Marlon Davison, and boy, let me tell you, he is one of my favorite, if not the favorite pick out of the entire Falcons draft. This kid is a grown man playing at college level, pretty much. And during his NFL Combine press interview, he was saying he's ready to go out there and physically abuse a man and not the cops show up. That right there just shows how much he loves the game of football, and he is going to be a great fit right beside Grady Jarrett getting tackles and sacks on Drew Brees and uh, Tom Brady and all of them here in the NFC South. Next up, we have round three, pick 78, Matt Hennessy Center from Temple University. This is a great fit because he can play that left guard position as well, and that is where he's going to be at for this season while learning under center Alex Mack because Alex Mack is coming up in the contract year, and I do believe that the Falcons, especially considering his age, might move on from him, and Matt Hennessy is definitely going to have a great transition learning from Alex. Linebacker. Mikhail Walker, Forenzo State, round four, pick 119, is coming to the Atlanta Falcons, and this is going to be another great addition to the defense in that secondary whenever you have Deion Jones as well. And Mikhail Walker, I am really kind of missing his name here, which I really shouldn't be, but yes, Mikhail Walker, from what I've seen from the highlights, I don't watch much of the Forenzo State University games, not unless just, you know, it just randomly appears on TV one day during, you know, the college season. But Mikhail Walker, from what I've seen from the highlight video, he is a great addition to any kind of defense, but we are so glad that he, cho- well, that we chose him and he's coming to the Atlanta Falcons, especially that one clip in this highlight video where like the quarterback and the running back were f- were fixing hand off to one another and he just got right up through the offensive line and just destroyed the play pretty much the loss of like five yards 
that right there just shows that if Tampa Bay or the New Orleans Saints or even the Carolina Panthers at that, if their offensive line messes up this season, he's going to run right through them and just tackle either the quarterback or the running back pretty much for a loss of five. Now we have a safety coming to the Atlanta Falcons and Jalen Hawkins from Cal University in round four, pick 134. Uh, didn't really watch much of his tape, but from what I'm can guessing from the vibe of the Atlanta Falcons community, Jalen Hawkins is definitely a great safety at his pos- or at his position, and he is going to bring a lot of interceptions and tackles for a really no gain, pretty much. And then for our very last pick in round seven, pick 228, we are choosing a punter from Syracuse University, and that punter is Sterling Hedgefer, if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I am butchering your name. But yes, we are choosing a punter, so definitely this was kind of a questionable move right here from the Atlanta Falcons, especially knowing that, you know, we got uh, Ryan Allen, if I am not mistaken, and um, Matt Bosher. And so, but then there again, Matt Bosher is up in that age and he has been injury prone. So definitely I can see where the Falcons were going with this. Overall, I give the Atlanta Falcons a B plus in this year's 2020 NFL draft. They definitely filled the needs at defensive tackle, linebacker and safety and cornerback. Now, yes, we didn't get an edge rusher, but still free agency is available for us to get like a Jadavian Clowney or just anybody that can be effective in the edge rusher position. 